Okay, uh, let's make a video. What do you say? Um, so, last time we talked about BIOS boot, um, and I said we were going to talk about SRT0.S next time, so that's what we're doing. Um, look, okay, I started to write a uh, summation. Uh, this is the what's really going on. We checked the, the uh, boot magic stuff, got passed correctly, and uh, don't do anything at all if it didn't. And then uh, <laughs> um, pop the uh, drive number into EDX, clear interrupts, um, set up our CS and DS. So remember that uh, CS we long jumped to uh, link address um, in the segment, right? The offset was zero. So CS and DS are gonna have like, uh, I don't know, whatever the link address is, but as a segment. Um, <clears throat> then we load the global descriptor table in, um, which is described in GIDT.S. And like, okay, I'm gonna delve into this because I just think this is really interesting stuff because you have to do this for really low level code like manually <laughs> linking this up um, because this file is going to assemble with start being uh, like link address, right? So it's gonna start off thinking that like start is going to be linked in a segment where uh, like all of this is starting at link address. Um, whatever that is, it's like, I don't know, hex 4120 or something. I don't know exactly. Well, heck it. Let's just find out. Um, oh yeah, it's hidden away in some make file. Um, that's another thing is like some of this stuff is like hidden away in link files. Um, this, these e data and end, these variables are defined in the linker script. Um, so like, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's not that like, it's not the easiest stuff to understand, but, uh, or to like find if you, especially if you're kind of new to all of this, like I am, um, but I don't know, relatively new people have been doing this stuff. I feel like I've been programming for forever, but whatever, I'm getting off track. Um, <laughs> I swear I'm not on cocaine. I just have had a lot of coffee. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, it's also late too. It's like almost midnight. I mean, late for me, whatever. I'm old. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this is going to be the worst video ever, but whatever. I'm going to put it up just because. Okay, so this GDTR is, um, it's going to like when this address gets assembled, it's getting assembled thinking that like we're using this like segment, but this GDTR is based on like, you know, zero base addressing. But like right now we are currently at uh, like, so we're currently at like starting like we're currently starting from link address. That's what's in CS and DS, right? Um, but this GDTR, this whole program is linked uh, under the assumption that we're, like our segment is at zero. Um, so when we do this load global descriptor table, um, we are loading the global descriptor table register from the memory address referenced by GDTR minus link address because we've already gone forward the like link address amount, um, right? We're starting from link address. So we have to subtract that away because normally we would have to travel from like the very beginning of memory. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but like I just, it took me like, I was like, what? Like I was looking at that and I was like, I don't understand why that's going on. That's why it's going on. I mean, like it's obvious, like, I don't know. It was obvious, I guess, that like something was going on like that, but 
it just took me a little while to like figure it out. Uh, so anyway, um, <laughs> uh, load the global descriptor table. We switch into protected mode. Um, fix up like and you know fix up all of these like data you know segments to have the data segment descriptor. This is all like this variable is and like a lot of this stuff is stored in GIDT.S, uh, which we'll get to in just a sec. But uh, yeah, and then bootstack. Um, the heck is uh, bootstack? Oh, come on. Um, don't make me F grep for it. I don't know why I f crept the whole tree too. Um, oh, I think that's one of those things that gets defined. Um, I don't know why I did dash r, but um, yeah, it's uh, boot seg minus, yeah, bootstack offset into, oh, come on, define bootstack in SRT, that's pixie boot, um, SRT zero. I don't want bootstack, I want bootstack off. Yeah, I guess like that's where it goes, huh? Anyway, um, like I said, terrible video, but uh, <laughs> I just wanna freaking do it, get it done. We zero out BSS, this stuff defined in the linker file. How else are you gonna know where the end of the data section is before you've linked everything, compiled everything and linked it all together? You can't. That's like, yeah. In the linker script. I don't know which linker script like gets used exactly to do this. Like I've got my ideas. It's like one of like two or three that I can pretty sure narrow it down to. But um, yeah. And then we jump to PM, PMM init, um, which is in GIDT.S. Um, you can see there's a couple macros, like long macros for like protected to real mode switching and real to protected mode switching. Good stuff. Um, and then like if you really want to look at it, okay, there's PMM init, right? Um, this is just creating an interrupt, interrupt, discrete, interrupt descriptor table entry um, this is creating an interrupt descriptor table BIOS entry. Um, and like this just says like push the value of the label for this guy into EAX, right? So there's a label for this that's just gonna be like XDE. IPROC E is just X concatenated with DE. And then this does the same thing, except it puts an emu between the X and the B, right? So this is gonna be like X emu zero, X emu one. Like you're emulating those BIOS calls, right? And these just fill, right? So this create IDT entry, like you start off moving the interrupt descriptor table entry address into EBX. Um, and then you like fill, like, you know, set up its size and then everything else is you just putting these addresses, um, into, uh, this spot, like into this, uh, sorry, 
this is the like code for putting the addresses into the interrupt descriptor table, um, right? And so like the first part of it is like you fill out like okay what seg what like segment are you in, and then like what are some properties of that segment, um, and like that's basically it, right? This is the interrupt descriptor table register, right? Uh, here's the global descriptor table, global descriptor table register. Register is kind of a weird word because register, you normally think of being as like, I don't know, I think of it as being like an on CPU memory location, but this is stored in memory, um, but whatever. Um, and then here you can see IPROC name or define I entry Right, so this is where we're jumping to are these I entry errors and these, uh, after that, these uh, I emu ints. Um, right, this is where like we were jumping to. Notice, remember I emu, um, or remember like um, IDTB, um, these ones, IDTB, it's creating this IDTE which is, was just X emu and then the number. Uh, I emu is X emu and the number, right? So back down here, um, yeah. These are just like, you know, creating this. You push this number onto the stack. So that's the number of the BIOS call that you actually wanna do. And then you're gonna pop it into EAX later before you do the real to protected mode switching uh, so that you can like have the like BIOS call actually be run. And then you jump forward one, right? Jump to the next one label, right? So all of these are jumping here and then they're jumping to EMUH. And then all of these other BIOS emulation calls are jumping here and this just jumps you straight away to this. All of the like, ones that are like below 32 just jump to the clear interrupts and halt, right? Um, they jump one forward and clear interrupts halt, um, right? They push some stuff onto the stack, like the error um, and type, but error is zero. Um, so like I'm not really sure why they have that as an option, but whatever. Um, and that's basically it, right? I mean, if you wanna get into the nitty gritty details of all of this, this is kinda cool. Like, uh, so first of all, this, if you wanna know where this variable is defined, this capital BIOS R underscore ES, it's in asim.h. Asim.h doesn't exist until you make the uh, make boot, right? You make the actual boot program using like a make file and it builds a sim.h, sort of like how config does. Um, I didn't really go into that, but uh, yeah, it's easy if you just, easiest if you just make a sim.h and then you can see what all these are defined as if you really want to. And then like, they're like constructing their own assembly code by like writing immediate values into these spots and executing them which is kind of cool. And then, uh, you know, preserving um, various things from protected mode. Um, Cause like right here that we, we switch, preserve. Um, yeah, uh, do like, you know, push a bunch of stuff onto the stack and then switch to, to real mode, execute the interrupt uh, that, right? So we push, um, we move EAX into 5F to save EAX and then we pop EAX which is the interrupt that we're going to want to do um, and then like you know we move AL to int no int number which is like int no is this assembly location minus one so that's going to be that one right put her there run the interrupt and then recover from it. So like save all of the BIOS registers that got saved from the interrupt call. 
you know, so that, like, whoever called it can examine it later. Um, that's it. That, I, I really think that's it. it okay. Yes. There, so there's the eye red at the very end, um, which I don't know a ton about, like, exactly what happens with, like, stacks and segments and all that stuff when you return from an interrupt. Um, but, you know, in any case, um, yeah, at the very top of this is the, uh, like, protected to real mode switching, which, as you can see, is a fairly long define, right? The very last thing of it is like loading the interrupt descriptor table for the real mode. Um, and then the very last thing is for like switching from real to protected mode again is loading the interrupt descriptor table in the regular mode. And the reason why like some of these are subtracted and others aren't all has to do with like which, what your segment base is. And the fact that all of this gets assembled assuming that your segment base is zero. Um, so take that for whatever it's worth. Uh, I'm sure I've been rambling for long enough now. Oh God, yeah, this video is probably way too long. But I don't know. I just wanted to do this video um, and put this out there. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. You know, like, hopefully it just gives you something to chew on. Um, yeah. I mean, if anyone watches it, some of my videos that I put up, literally no one has watched. Not even me. I don't want to watch that shit. Sorry. I shouldn't have cursed. It's a child. No, it's not. It's not for children. It's a family friend. Eh, it's a clean channel. <laughs> anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, y'all. Uh, if anyone watches at all, you know, you never know. So, have a good one. Peace.